Welcome to the theme of artificial intelligence. The work that IIT Hyderabad faculty had been pursuing in collaboration with the scientists from DRDO. One of the premier projects here is the reconfigurable machine learning platform design for the avionics application that IIT Hyderabad is pursuing with RCI Hyderabad. We are working on a reconfigurable machine learning hardware architecture design. As of now in the market there are various net, uh, machine learning algorithms available with the promising accuracy. For the real-time application, those uh, algorithms require a particular hardware to, uh, to be in use. So, we are working on one particular uh, hardware architecture design which will accommodate the various machine learning algorithms available to that and which will be helpful in the real-time applications. Once that design is ready, so most probably this is going to be the first of its kind chip in our India and will also be uh, supporting the indigenous effort done by IIT Hyderabad faculty in collaboration with DRTO scientists. Then another project is on the real-time prediction of the remaining useful life for the sheep. That is not only the DRTO but another stakeholder is the Indian Navy. So in this work we are identifying the residual life, life of the structures like aircraft, ships and the bridges. For this work, we are using artificial intelligence and the nonlinear dynamics. So, in this work, we are identifying a different kind of deformation in those structures like corrosion and the fatigue crack growth. So, for this, we are classifying the acoustic emission signal of the corrosion and the fatigue by using machine learning. By using nonlinear dynamics and AI based approach, we are trying to predict the occurrence of crack in a material. This video shows the uh, presence of noise in the signal as well as the crack. The red uh, scattered point indicates uh, crack. So we could see the presence of crack as well as the presence of noise in the signal. This is going to be really helpful for the Indian Navy and once again to the best of our knowledge, this is going to be another first of its kind attempt made by IITH faculty along with the DRD.